they they went like He's saying the truth? Yeah, I just I my my family's from Israel, I hope you know. Okay. And like sure I care about the Palestinians, they shouldn't deserve to die, but you're creating a lot of misinformation by saying that we're creating a Holocaust. It's it is a genocide. Even the International Court of Justice has said that it's a no, genocidal. They, they, they lost in the court of law. Did you watch no. it? No. No. I did ruling, watch it. Their ruling was that they have to take preventive measures to, but if it turns yes. out Israel into something that could be a genocide. Right? They're not being nearly uh -uh. careful enough, and I think well, they're not handling this war right, but they don't want no, to no, kill no, anyone. No, no, no. That's not the words that they used. They said there was plausible uh, evidence of some, if not all, of uh, South Africa's, you know, contentions that this is genocidal practice. So they said, stop it. And even the Israeli judge, you know, voted in favor of telling the Israeli politicians to stop incitement of a Holocaust. Yes, but they have to accept the Palestinians. Yes, they can't go anywhere because only 17 percent of Israelis have a dual citizenship and a passport to go somewhere else. They can't go anywhere else. Most of them. Well, let me continue. So of course they have to live there, and Hamas accepts that they will live there. There's no future that the Israelis or the Palestinians. We need to find a way to live together. Yeah. Well, I wrote a whole book about that. It's in the library here. It's called the Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. Each nation, you know, governs itself, like with national cultural autonomy, <coughs> like I was saying. As much as great that sounds in your eyes, that's not going to happen. But to have, you know, absolute. Have a good day. I just want you to know that at the end of the day, we all want peace, and I don't want anyone dying. Okay, then we have, have to do something to, about it. We have to do something about it, but misinformation spreading is no. also not is not the way. I agree. Uh, have a good well, day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, they come. They come from the Arabian Peninsula. On their conquest, they conquer towns. Yes, actually, they conquered you know, all of North Africa. Yes. And the Kabyle, so you know, they, they are not. We're not even a, still like not even allowed Arabia to use their own language. Down to like where Israel is, they didn't even conquer that for a while. They go to North Africa, the area a little bit above. Yeah, it. but the Palestinians didn't come from Saudi Arabia. Well, is that what you think? Yes, all. My, all my well, who were the Canaanites when Abraham came? To Canaan, you know, who were all the villages there? Kufa Kadum and all that. Well, I'm not going and Jerusalem to... existed before David, long before not, David. I don't know much about the Canaanites, but I, I know. That's uh, right. On, listen, that I is will right. I myself on that, but I know for a fact. Uh, just a minute. I have to go get my gloves here, my hands. <coughs> the religion of Islam, I know, was spread from, uh, from the Arabian Islam Peninsula. is three quarters Jewish. <laughs> Yeah. What are you talking? Seriously. Yeah. And also, Explain. you know, the the ancient Israelites who were left behind, you know, when when the uh, city, you know, elite dwellers, you know, were exiled to uh, Babylon, and uh, all the peasants, Jewish peasants, Israelites, they were left behind, and they were left on their own. So eventually, where is this from? Uh, well, the Palestinians know more about this history than, than the Jewish people. Well, I, I learned a lot, you know, about history, you know, from Palestinians. And, <clears throat> and, and, they, and the Israelites, you know, uh, a lot of them, you know, initially converted to being Christians because it used to be a Jewish sect before it turned into a, a fascist thing. So, well, and I, then those uh, Israelites who had converted to being Christian later on, they converted to being Muslims. And they became Muslims, they became Palestinians. So many of the Palestinians were originally Israelites, and they okay. lived together with those who still are Israelites, okay, like Sumerians on Mount Gerizim. You don't know this, you know, but th th this is... Well, maybe my, uh, my, dad, my dad is a rabbi, I think he was... Oh. Yes, so... So ask him about this. Yes, yeah. I'll ask him. And um, the Samaritans, I went to visit them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but, um... What was I going to say? Yeah. The... <coughs> Like, I agree, we're, we're close. We've, the Jews have been there for thousands of years, the Palestinians have been there for a little less than that, but we're all cousins. No, 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 the Palestinians we, have been there since Canaan times. No, we're all native there, all right? And Palestinians are native to that land. Israelis are native okay, to that land. Okay, there's a, there's a nuance. Ashkenazim are half European, because the women that mm -hmm. the, uh, the Jewish men married, you know, were converted, you know, from Europeans, you know, in Rome and yeah. in Germany. Okay. But we still have a connection, you know, to, 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 the, to, to the land, yeah, okay. But Samuel the prophet, <clears throat> I haven't given you uh, the citation from Samuel, I have it in my backpack here. He said that we are not a nation like other nations and we shouldn't have a king. But the people wanted a king, so he gave them the king Saul and then David and Solomon. But Judaism is not based upon, you know, a state. Yes, it literally is. 
Judaism, uh, Judaism. Not according Jew, to Samuel. Jew comes from Judea. We our our whole thing is that we are a people who came from Judea and we adopted a religion no, to preserve we were, our culture. We were a people we before exiled. that. We were a people founded by Moses. Yes, and we had our own country. No, it wasn't our country. We just came there and settled there. That's all, and so, merged in with the population. You no, know, Judeo and, and even Solomon, Jewish. you know, had many wives, you know, who were not uh, originally Jewish. And even the grandmother of David, you know, Judeo was a Moabite. Was a Jewish nation, it's all merged together, you know. We're very connected to the Palestinians. But like, where are you? I'll, have, are you I'll show you. About, like, uh, like, why aren't you talking about the Kurds or talking about like the horrible stuff that's going on in China with the Uyghur Muslims or the, or why aren't you talking about Syria bombing those people and killing so many more people than uh, Palestine? Like, obviously, it's more relevant for those who are Jews and uh, affecting them somewhat. But for other people who aren't Palestinian nor Jewish, and they're following the whole trend... I'll look into this. And they're following the whole trend of uh, free Palestine, like every 14-year-old teenage girl puts it in their TikTok bio. Why? <laughs> where, where's the, all the other stuff? Like, why do you think there's a difference? Because there's no disagreement about the other stuff. Well, I'm sure the radical, the radical Muslims and in, in uh, who support the like Syrian government are in support of it. Like, look, they, and the the fact is the whole the whole the whole situation. There are many situations in the world that are way worse. For example, yes, people talked about the Russia-Ukraine war, but there are hundred there were like 200,000 civilian casualties. No, like, I, I just don't get why people are acting like that's no, way less of a big deal. No, they're not civilian casualties. Those are soldiers. A lot of soldiers died, but yeah. I, look, I looked it up. I think it was from, like... Ukrainian. Ukrainian soldiers. Yeah, they're sending their soldiers to be massacred. They're actually winning by a good amount. Yeah, they just advanced five kilometers yesterday. Okay, well, I was wrong about that, and you were right about that. Oh, uh, about what? Uh, uh, it's 10,000 civilian casualties. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the difference is they, they're still fighting a defensive war, but Ukraine isn't nearly as densely populated. And, um, That's a whole other story. It's yeah, complicated. It is, it you know, is. like, I, I don't want to sort of start another discussion. Yeah, you know, we don't have to talk about Russia and Ukraine now. But, yeah. Uh, I just, like... But the thing is that people don't know what my position is. I have to be here to say, to explain what Jewish Bundism is, you know, and how Jewish Bundism <coughs> was fighting for the self-determination of the Jewish people and for the self-defense, but they were not Zionists. And everybody thinks that, you know, well, if well, you want to think, protect the think, Jewish people, you have to be a Zionist. When the Zionism it's not true. Start, when the Zionism move, official Zionism movement was started in the late 1800s, do you really think they would have been able to go with your plan in, in like, all those places where they were severely discriminated against and have their own little government, as you say? That wouldn't have worked. We needed our own land. No, no, we, could we did totally it. Govern ourselves. Because the Bundes helped the Russian Revolution take place, and that stopped the pogroms. There were no pogroms after 1917. What's a pogrom again? A uh, massacre of Jewish people in their own uh, neighborhood. Yeah, and then the Holocaust happened, and then they needed their Yeah, own but land not in Russia. Russia stopped the Holocaust. Yes. Who, who but they were still liberated the Auschwitz? Against. It Jews was the were Red very Army. discriminated against in Russia. Yeah. They, they, were, they just didn't like Germany. No, they just didn't like being invaded, you know. Yeah, so they didn't like... Yeah, Germans so they had to invading. not like Germans. Yeah, but they, they didn't like the Jews either. Yeah, uh, but they didn't massacre the, the Jewish people like the Germans did, you know. Yeah, but they were treated as a lesser people. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. Um, so the communists, you know, didn't make it as far as I'm concerned, yeah. In fact, they killed, you know, Alter and Ehrlich, you know, who were the two Jewish Bundes leaders. Mm -hmm. who <sighs> what a mess. Very interesting, your father's a rabbi. Yeah. Um, Ask him to come and talk to me next week. I will. That would be interesting.
Yeah. He's in the he's the rabbi of the congregation, like the Reconstruction Synagogue. Oh yes, I've known about that. Mm. Uh, there was some um, 